August 3rd, I was watching the news and I saw a report concerning an uptick in coronavirus cases in Broward County, Florida. The report went on to show two COVID-19 testing centers in Broward. One of them was Mills Pond Park. In this video clip, notice the design of the park and see if you can spot the glaring symbolism in its design. Plenty of new COVID concerns, Alex Brown reports. While we desperately want to be done with this pandemic, COVID-19 is clearly not done with us. The grim reality during a summer surge. They are, they are being hospitalized, they are sicker, uh, they are ending up in the intensive care units at 25 years old. And apparently the Delta variant targeting the younger population previously believed to be low risk. Cleveland Clinic the North Broward District, the South Broward District, all of them are being overwhelmed with COVID cases. South Florida hospitals are filling up, fueled by that Delta variant. The Sunshine State reaching a pandemic record. More than 10,000 Floridians now hospitalized, the majority of them unvaccinated. This as long lines formed at testing sites at Amelia Earhart Park in Hialeah and Mills Pond in Fort Lauderdale. Wait times stretching up to three hours. Now stores like Publix, the Home Depot, and others requiring employees once again to wear masks. If you look at Mills Pond Park from a bird's eye view, you can make out a pentagram inside of a circle representing Baphomet. When we compare this view next to the pentagram and Baphomet, it becomes quite obvious that the intention of the person who designed this park was to give glory to Satan through this deeply satanic symbol. The fact that Mills Pond Park was selected as a testing site for coronavirus, which literally means to be crowned with the venom of the serpent, makes it clear that this site was purposefully chosen by the powers that be in Broward County because of the symbolism displayed here in order to connect Baphomet, who is that old serpent, the devil and Satan, with coronavirus. It should also be noted that the words on Baphomet's arms are salve et coagula, which means solution and coagulation, and is an alchemical concept directly related to turning man into God. This is the same lie Satan told Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Interestingly enough, coagulation is the process that causes blood clots. This connects to the reports of adverse reactions from the coronavirus vaccine that caused deaths in several people due to heart inflammation and blood clots. Solve et coagula also means binding and loosing and is a reference to the binding or releasing of demonic spirits. We are told as much in Matthew 16 19 which declares and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Remember the mentioning of the keys and the concepts of binding and loosing as we will come back to it later in the study. Also notice that this news report concerning coronavirus begins by displaying the caduceus or mercury staff, which is two serpents intertwined around a pole with wings next to a depiction of DNA. Plenty of new COVID concerns, Alex Browning reports. While we desperately want to be done with this pandemic, COVID-19 is clearly not done with us. It is super important to note that Mercury is the messenger of the gods. Please keep this in mind as we will come back to it shortly. Interestingly enough, Baphomet has this same symbol, the caduceus or Mercury staff sitting in his lap as two children look up to him in wonder and amazement as if they are looking up at their father or parent. The fact that this symbol is connected with Baphomet 
DNA and the coronavirus through this news report is no coincidence either. Allow me to explain. DNA is a molecule composed of two polynucleotide chains that coil around each other to form a double helix carrying genetic instructions for the development, functioning, growth, and reproduction of organisms. DNA and ribonucleic acid or RNA are nucleic acids. Alongside proteins, lipids, and complex carbohydrates, nucleic acids are one of the four major types of macromolecules that are essential for all known forms of life. These are the building blocks of life. One popular idea about the emergence of life on Earth called RNA world theory was developed by scientists Carl Wolves, Francis Crick, and Leslie Orgel in the 1960s. RNA is simpler and more versatile than DNA, so many scientists believe RNA's nucleic acids comprised life's main building blocks, which later created proteins that gave rise to DNA. RNA. Most scientists think that RNA came first because RNA can do two jobs, store information and perform various functions that keep cells alive. This idea that RNA came first is called the RNA world hypothesis. RNAs have adapted to become the Swiss army knives of our cells. Today they can slice, dice, catalyze, build, destroy, code, replicate, and transform. With this in mind, it is important to note that the coronavirus vaccine uses mRNA technology. What that means is that this vaccine intercepts the original message delivered from your DNA, the genetic code that is sent to your cells to cause them to make antibodies when your body comes in contact with an antigen and instead inserts a different message with different instructions that causes your cells to create a totally foreign spike protein found in coronavirus, a protein that your body does not normally make. The word spike means a stick, splinter, or point. This is very interesting in light of the fact that one of the proclamations that Yah made to Adam in the Garden of Eden after he had been beguiled by the serpent and caused to eat of the tree of knowledge is that the ground would bring forth thorns and thistles or plants with spikes on them. This was a curse. Therefore, it follows that the spike protein that this mRNA vaccine causes your body to create is a curse as well. Our Savior, Yahushua, Hamashiach wore a crown or corona of thorns and spikes were driven through his hands and feet when he overcame sin, death, and hell for us. Why then would anyone choose to crown themselves with the spike? Thank you.